The country is facing problems that urgently need to be resolved, but the fact is that it has come a long way and we should use this progress as an incentive to complete the work which still remains ahead. Reference to the possible emergence of a new state uh, in an international gazette and proposals that nationalist politicians should start discussing the peaceful dissolution of Bosnia and Herzegovina or that the country should not exist at all have been met by counter statements to the effect that the dissatisfied elements are welcome to leave but will not be allowed to take any part of the country with them. With great difficulty, the relevant authorities are striving to meet the IMF terms for a 1.2 billion standby, standby arrangement. At the same time, generous development assistance continues to come from the World Bank, the EU, and other international financial institutions and bilateral donors. However, none or very few of the key reforms that would allow the country to take full advantage of this assistance and which would revive the economy and reverse the decline in employment and living standards has been enacted during the reporting period. And that is why I believe that the Article 1 is endangered, because the Article 1 says that Bosnia-Herzegovina continues in the Dayton Agreement, continues as a state under the international law. So if a state continues as a state under international law, then it's quite clear that it continues with its rights and obligation. And within its rights is, of course, the right to its property. It's being questioned. And since this article is very important, it is also important to say that this article cannot be renegotiated. This is, this is questioned by our opposition, my opposition in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and lately by, by the, uh, the high representative. And this is what I said today, that this should not be questioned, and no one has Monday to question it. Festival, goes to Boston, and give a little bit comfort to the Greeks, you know, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> and uh, in Paris, and 